Okay, we're just gonna test one of these molds, bombs that I molded the other day when I did the proper molding video. This is the one with the saucer, and I'm gonna see if it floats or does anything, or if it actually boots around with that cool little rim on it, because the ring usually helps propel. We'll see what happens. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. It seems to want to be stuck right there. There we go. It's not right on the top. It's a heavy sucker. I wish I weighed it. I don't know if it's on the bottom or not. Oh no. Usually these things boot through, but maybe like that is a big a big heavy bomb and I was hoping it would sit right here, but that was very heavy. I'll probably run out of out of film. It's spinning this way. If you can you probably can't see it, but it's doing this this way. So maybe when it gets a bit smaller. Yeah, it's sort of bouncing off the bottom. It's not um yeah, it's not totally floating. Maybe it will. Maybe I will pause it for a second until it gets a bit smaller so you guys don't have to watch this whole however minutes of it doing it. Well, I had to. been there for a few minutes already. I just had to put it back on. The embed's actually starting to come out, but I don't think you can see it. I want to see if we can see. There's the embed. I was hoping it would just do this, but it's a little bit too heavy. That's a big bomb. Those saucer bombs are way bigger. That's why I like the 2.75. Even though this was supposed to be a 2.75, this is a little bigger than your normal 2.75. I don't know... If it's because it gets that extra little bit and it's oval and not round, or how that works, but it, it's just heavier than your normal bomb. But there's a lot of foam, so that's nice, and the water's starting to go a nice um, greeny blue from the embed. I really wanted it to float. Well, that's the first time you guys have seen a bomb that hasn't floated in a while. There's the, ooh, that's a big embed. Oh, yeah, that's right, I put the Mondo embeds in here. I only put one embed in this big baby, just one half when I was showing you the molding. So it's a bit big to be floating. Probably packed it too tight, because I was showing them to keep the saucer rim on there. It's okay, some bombs that sink, I don't mind at all. Because all that goodness is right in there, right where you're going to be sitting. But the smell, too, is pretty cool. That's a nice amount of foam. Can you guys see that? For, um, this was, I think, what did I do? Two, two table, no, three tablespoons SLSA in this one. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just, it's just at the, the upper end right now. Some nice foam. Excuse my old yucky bathtub. This place is over 45 years old. Not that that's old, <laughs> but it's an older, older, older townhouse. My new bathtub's pretty, it's seen better days. They tried to paint it and they didn't do it very good. Okay, I think that's about all we're going to see for excitement. I don't even think it's going to actually float. That is one big embed. Actually, that's very slow for an embed, too. That makes me happy. And there's no SLSA in the embed. It's just a one-to-one -one ratio. So that makes me quite happy that that embed's lasting that long. So the mica doesn't really give you a lot of a color. It's the embed that's making the, uh, the water the nice color. That's why the man bomb... That was done in the brown mica, didn't make the water brown. It had an embed this color in it. So the water turned that color with the brown one too, so. But, there we go. And of course, we're going to get bubbles like always.
Look at it booting over there. What are you doing? Ah! We just pummeled the bomb. <laughs> it's over here. Yeah, I knocked the embed right out. I'm sure I did. I don't know where that embed went. Maybe it just got knocked. It doesn't matter. Anyways, there's the rest of the bomb. There's my bath. And I'm jumping in. So thanks for watching, guys.